This is the 13th annual Rochester Certificate Conference. And I, I actually said that tonight, today, you know, without choking up, which is amazing. Uh, this is a gift. And uh, we have very much to be thankful for. Um, yeah, certainly, this is a gift of the Brazilian fathers.
that is good. And then that Dale's in uh, the front door. And his job is to make sure that Joseph stays in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, are there any other? There's bathrooms. Uh, are there any other? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, it's, we're adults. We can find a bathroom. It's not, you know. And there's a, you'll find it. Um, yes. Is mass in here at a certain time? Yes, afterwards, yes. It'll be anticipatory and it'll be after 4 p.m. after we clean up, yes. Father Peter Patel will say mass and Father Esso will be celebrating. Uh, and possibly Father Earl if I ask him, but I forgot to ask him, but he's sitting out there now shaking his head probably. You know. Sorry. Uh, I'll make up for that. Uh, other questions? No, thanks for helping me because you know I forget that there are going to be details in this group. Our conference today is on isms. And, uh, you know, people see isms. You know, we're talking about them today. Throughout his writing and through, uh, throughout his work, Chesterton is consistently and constantly attacking various isms. Um, you know, and there's a few good isms. Let's not talk about that the band ones are so much more fun to talk about, and we'll talk about a bunch of them today. The, the point about isms, um, you know, I think materials are taken, and, 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 and these are errors in thinking. And, 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 and when you, if you say the word ism, you know, it, 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 the er, all kinds of errors crystallize around these, around these terms. And Chesterton would go at isms again and again and again. Um, and basically, because their limitations on human liberty, they're cheap, they represent cheap substitutes for thought. And you know, in the modern world today, I mean, that's what we're surrounded by, that we're surrounded by isms, isms we're not even aware of and, and, and put up with. And um, you know, maybe we have to surrender to them in the world, but we don't need to surrender to them in our minds or our hearts. Chesterton would call them, you know, just generally a, you have any kind of ism, it's a way to simplify and cheap and fill up and to keep us from talking about the problem of what is good. <laughs> you know, um, you, learn, you can learn a lot from people if you hang around. And, and one thing I've learned um, from because we've had, you know, over the years we've had a succession of some really good speakers. Is, um, you know, the trick to really being a, a really good speaker is to have great quotes. <laughs> and in fact, you know, I mean, you look at somebody like Dale. Like Dale's a good speaker, and he's got these great quotes. You know, and then he goes, well, I think, wow, I think that's the secret. I mean, you could you could jumpstart yourself from being like a speaker down here, a speaker up here, just just with some good quotes. Our quotes make everything. I mean. They make a great speaker. They make a great, like, look at Shakespeare, look at Hamlet. It's just nothing but quotes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's an idea that needs some development. Some lady said that, right? I figured who it was. Dale Warren. Well, let me just read you some great Chesapeake quotes on this. And then, uh, then I have the pleasure of introducing the first speaker. Now, let's go. The great psychological discovery of paganism which turned in it into Christianity can be expressed with some accuracy in one phrase. The pagan set out with admirable sense to enjoy himself. By the end of his civilization, he had discovered that a man cannot enjoy himself and continue to enjoy anything else. Again, going after it as a just as it is the truth. Materialism is not a thing that destroys mere restraint. Materialism itself is the great restraint. This school of materialism advocates a, a political liberty, but it denies spiritual liberty. That is, it abolishes the laws which could be broken and substitutes the laws that cannot. And that is the real slavery. Intellectualism, unquestionably, it's a common phrase of modern intellectualism to say that the morality of one age can be entirely different from the morality of another. And like a great many other phrases of modern intellectualism, it means literally nothing at all. Barbarism, 
There's nothing particularly nasty about being a relic of barbarism. Man is a relic of barbarism. Civilization is a relic of barbarism. Calvinism, here we go. Sorry, you're going to tag me later. <coughs> Calvinism. Calvinism is the most non-Christian of Christian religions. Skepticism. Liberty has produced skepticism, and skepticism has destroyed liberty. Socialism. At one time I agreed with socialism because it was simple. Now I disagree with socialism because it is too simple. Capitalism. Capitalism is a corrupt prison. Prison. That is the best that can be said for capitalism. <laughs> but it is something to be said for it. For a man is a little freer in that corrupt prison than he would be in a complete prison. And let me end with this one on pessimism. Passivism insists on the shortness of human life in order to show that life is valueless. Religion insists on the shortness of human life in order to show that life is frightfully valuable, is almost horribly valuable. Pessimism says that life is so short it gives nobody a chance. Religion says life is so short that it gives everybody his final chance.